News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez joins us live from Santa Maria. Christina, this officer has a, had a very big impact on the community. Yes, it was truly touching to hear the stories of Officer Daniel Mota. His wife and colleagues say that his work ethic was unmatched and he loved serving his community. San Luis I copy all. 1010, good night. Santa Maria CHP officer Daniel Mota called in his last 1010 to end his shift and begin his retirement. I feel accomplished. Is what Mota says as he embarks in a new chapter of his life after serving his community for 33 years. I feel like this was the end goal and we were able to reach it by the grace of God and support from friends and family. We made it. Mota says it was his childhood dream to become a CHP officer. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would be able to do something like this. My parents were migrant field workers and I thought that's where I would end up. His wife, Leti Mota, who works for the Santa Maria Bonita School District, says she is ready to have him home full time. We are so excited to have him home now um, after 33 years of this. It's a long road. Mota's colleagues say his work ethic sets him apart and will leave a difficult spot to replace. I would recommend that anybody that's thinking about it, don't think about it, do it. I highly recommend it. This department is incredible. This department supports you 100% of the way. This department is the best thing that ever happened to me and my family. His wife says Mota worked overtime to reach out to the migrant community and help them as much as he could at workshops and event fairs. He was always compassionate with the people that he, he did encounter and he loved doing that. He loved reaching out to the community as well. Mota says he will be resting, spending more time with his family and traveling more. It's the best thing I could have ever done. I couldn't ask for a better career or a better life to this point. Officer Mota says it was his lifelong dream to become a CHP officer and now he recommends people who are thinking about the career to not think too much and go for it. Live in Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez. Back to you. All right, thank you, Christina. Still ahead on your News Channel Live at 6, a new senior center along the Central Coast is one step closer to becoming reality. We'll have details on that after the break. Conditions have been muggy and warm today. We'll continue with that tomorrow, but a cooling trend on top. We'll have more on that coming up.
Local businesses are gearing up for a lot of foot traffic during Old Spanish Days. The News Channel's Mina Wahab got a taste of what customers can expect. The annual Fiesta festivities bring a huge boost to the local economy, and restaurants are no exception. Eateries are planning special menus and happy hours to encourage visitors to try new things. That includes Taqueria La Unica, which will have happy hour discounts on tacos during Fiesta. Street tacos with cheek, tongue, uh, lips, and all the kind of uh, all meats. Lengua, cachete, and suadero. All of these dishes are packed with flavor, and each one of these dishes represents a different region in Mexico. So this one right here is the birria taco, and it's very reflective of the food in Jalisco, Mexico. My favorite is the uh, Alambre La Unica because it represents my, my hometown, Mexico City. And, and we have the, the Alambre with veggies, onion, bacon, uh, picaña, chorizo, and the Anaheim chili on the top. Bacaria La Unica has only been in business for a few months, but it's already cultivating an enthusiastic customer base of foodies like Adam Behar. And the flavors are just amazing and um, it's really complex and just wonderful, delicious. Some restaurants along Cabrillo, like Flor de Maíz, are preparing special drinks that will highlight the rich flavors of Oaxaca. Spike in business, spike in drinks, especially Friday for the parade. We're like, we're sold out already for the reservations for Friday lunch. From Taqueria La Unica to Flor de Maíz, customers will have a fiesta of flavors to look forward to. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter, Mina Wahab.